And court documents detail the stories of six victims in Tippecanoe County who told investigators they paid Armstrong tens of thousands of dollars for projects that were never completed. Among all of them, police say Armstrong got away with just under $66,000. I definitely believe all these victims felt violated, uh, not just financially, but uh, emotionally drained. Uh, I feel these victims were uh, uh, just as you know violated as any other physical uh, victim of physical violence of some kind. It's been more than a year since most of the victims detailed in court documents filed this week contacted 51-year-old Edward Armstrong, but Tippecanoe County Lieutenant Dan McGrew says he hopes the 12 felony charges filed against Armstrong will lead to justice for the six people he says fell prey to Armstrong's frauds. I'm, I'm glad we've, uh, we finally got uh, this individual off the streets. Uh, let's hope that uh, we can uh, get some justice here. At Jeff Swank's home in Tippecanoe County, a new pole barn stands on his property. He says the project was supposed to be completed by Edward Armstrong, but told police he never heard from Armstrong again after he paid him nearly $5,000 in June 2010. He didn't want to speak to News Channel 18 on camera, but simply told us, quote, he told a good story. And police say Swank wasn't the only one who believed that story. He's had a lot of convictions throughout the um, northern region. McGrew says Armstrong has been investigated or convicted in Wisconsin and Ohio as well as several other counties in Indiana. McGrew says in many cases victims did try to do their research before agreeing to pay Armstrong, but in some cases that wasn't enough. There was, uh, I believe there was one victim who told me she did some checking on the internet and looked for some things. Uh, don't just count on the internet, go to your uh, um, some local sources. McGrew also suggests seeking out several bids for a job and trust your gut feeling. If a quoted price seems too low, that could be a sign of fraud. Now, court documents list Armstrong as having 14 aliases, including Edward Silverthorne, Ed Branning, Ed Carpentry, and Dallas Silverthorne. If you believe you were a victim of Armstrong's, we'd like to hear from you. Click on this story on WLFI.com to find out how to share your story with us. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.